And guys, welcome back to a new video. Normally, I would talk about a topic like this in my monthly Android news episode, but this specific news about Google Play I actually consider so important for us Android developers that I decided to make a dedicated video about it. Because I think the biggest problem the Android ecosystem has right now is Google Play. There are an incredible number of policies, there are intransparent bans of apps, and there are just tons of obstacles, especially for indie developers. Because if we as developers currently want to distribute an Android app, there is no way around Google Play. Yes, there are alternative app stores, but the average user won't ever stumble over them. And this just leads Google to being able to enforce all their crazy policies like forcing you to have at least 20 testers for your apps, or to only allow apps with specific permissions if they actually fulfill their requirements. But this now comes to an end. There was a very long lawsuit between Google and Epic Games, the makers behind Fortnite, and this lawsuit was about two main topics. On the one hand, Epic Games wanted to distribute their own apps in their own app store, but Google actually forbid that, so it forbid that users could install Epic's app store from within Google Play. And number two, Epic Games wanted to manage their own in-app payments, but Google actually forces Google Play apps to use Google Play billing, which also allows them to take a 30% cut. This, by the way, is still the case. Google gets 30% of the money of every single transaction of every single Android app that was downloaded via Google Play. And I don't think you will disagree when I say that this heavily increases the prices for consumers, because most apps will probably just take those 30% and put them on top of their normal price. And for this lawsuit, there is now a judgment which is heavily in favor of Epic Games. Specifically, these are now the requirements that Google has to follow starting from November 1st. At least in the US, as per my understanding, but that's still the main market after all. First of all, Google is now required to allow installing third-party app stores from within Google Play and also giving them the full catalog of apps in Google Play. So this means if Epic Games now want to publish their own app store that distributes Android apps, then on the one hand, they can let their users install their app store via Google Play. And on the other hand, as I understand it, Google now has to give them access to the full catalog of apps, so they have to get all the apps descriptions, playlistings, APKs, so they can also be installed from the Epic Store. And that's crazy, I think. I think this will really change the Android ecosystem to the positive. However, based on my understanding, Google only has to open up their Google Play Store like this for the next three years. So there is actually enough time for rivals to actually catch up. But that's still a big thing. But apart from this one requirement, there are four more. Secondly, Google is not allowed anymore to force people to use Google Play billing for in-app purchases. And therefore, they are also not able to charge those 30% on every single purchase made via an Android app anymore. And that also means that we as developers finally get to choose our own prices. So if you want to have an app that has a thousand dollar a month subscription, then you are very free to do so. You can just implement that with, I don't know, Stripe, some kind of preferred payment gateway. And Google is not allowed to reject the app because of that anymore. Requirement number three is that Google is now required to allow us Android developers to tell our users about alternative ways of payment within Google Play. So that means if we're selling an app in Google Play for three bucks right now, and we also have our app distributed on the Epic Game Store, which does not charge those 30% on the app purchase, then we can put a note in our Google Play listing telling people, hey, there is also our app available in the Epic Game Store, and you're very free to download it there for 30% less. And the fourth requirement is that Google even has to allow us linking to those third-party app stores from within our Google Play Store listing. So you can literally put a link to the Epic App Store or any other preferred app store inside of your Play Store listing and your app is not allowed to be rejected because of that. And the fifth requirement from this judgment is that Google is not allowed anymore to neither offer us developers nor device manufacturers specific perks to do what's in favor of Google. So for example, Google is not allowed anymore to give Samsung money for them to actually pre-install Google Play on Samsung's specific version of the Android operating system. And Google is also not allowed to give you as the developer special perks, whatever that might be, to prevent you from launching your app on other app stores. So what does Google say about this? Google says that this will cause a range of unintended consequences that will harm American consumers, developers, and device makers. Or let me rephrase this, this is the best that could have happened to American consumers, developers, and device makers. Because what this effectively means is if there are alternative viable app stores that we can use and you are going to publish your app on Google Play, but they say, no, we have those crazy policies. You don't have 20 testers for your app. Your app is rejected, but we don't tell you why. Then you can just go ahead and say, F you Google, 
I will just post my app elsewhere. Seriously, I have talked to a lot of Android developers over the past years. I have read a lot of Android developers' opinions about the Android ecosystem and the life of an Android developer nowadays. And I don't exaggerate when I say that it was mainly Google that destroyed people's joy about Android development. It's not that building Android apps is not fun anymore to a lot of people, but it is distributing them via Google Play. So this is really refreshing news to me after all those rather bad news about Google Play. I'm of course not a lawyer and I don't know in how far this judgment has an effect on other areas and other important markets on the globe, like Europe for example. But if you publish English apps, then the US will be at least one big market for you. It's important to note that Google can and will appeal to this. So that means another court will take a look at this again, will form their own opinion, and then hopefully confirm the judgment from this current US court that has decided about this. But this also means that there is still a chance that it doesn't turn out exactly as I said here. So let's just hope the other court will confirm it. But now I would say we open up the comments to have some discussions. What do you think about this judgment? Do you think all those policies from Google Play are reasonable and actually protect users' privacies as they claim it? Or do you think most of them are actually crazy and rather unnecessary? Let us know that down below. Let's have some discussions. And other than that, thanks so much for watching this video. I will see you back in the next one. Subscribe to this channel if you want to stay up to date about those Android news. So thank you. Bye bye. And see you in the next video.